So some few years ago, um, when I moved from Nigeria to um, Europe to start m to for my master's program, I remember at the orientation program, um, I was asked about my research interest, and I said aquaculture. And the look in the face of the audience that day, they actually look at me as if I just commit, I just commit murder, or I just <laughs> say that I murder someone. But in respect, uh, after some years later on, I figured out that the minute I say those words, these are the pictures in their mind. An agriculture that looked this way. But as an Nigerian from developing world, my view of agriculture is quite different from their own view of agriculture because agriculture has both sides, the bad and the good side. However, our perception of agriculture is quite different from each other. Our studies have shown generally that um, agriculture perception is different because of the region in which people live and the education in which they have towards the food system. And also, different studies also shows that people in developed world have a negative imp um, ideas about culture than people from horse, for example, from developing world. But aquaculture is just the same way as agriculture because it's a family of aquatic species in a controlled environment, probably in the fresh um, marine or blackish water under a controlled environment and also where we try to like um, make other intervention through the rearing process. It could be feeding, it could be enhancement and other stuff. And we have a lot of types of agriculture. Um, even now that I'm about to finish my PhD, most times when I discuss with people about agriculture, they have two things in mind. One, salmon agriculture or agriculture in China. And people don't really know that there's all of the aquaculture um, sustainable um, systems that we have in aquaculture, like the land-based aquaculture system, which is fully recycled system that you don't need to um, um, put anything into the ocean. At the same time, you can practice it in a small area because it allows you to have high stock in density. And also, we can have aquaculture in the open ocean in a way that is going to be sustainable. Prospect of agriculture, uh, if we have to like increase food, f uh, food, security, food security in the future, we have to like go into in depth on how we practice agriculture. And we know presently about 40, more than 40% of total feed, the fish fish where we eat is from agriculture, and 160 billion US dollars is being made every year from it. And it supports a lot of livelihood, about 23 million of bits. One of our models shows areas that we can locate our pens in the future where they are sustainable. Such models can be used to locate um, a certain place that we can use in the ocean that we can use to increase food security in the future. However, climate change is also a major problem to agriculture. This is the fact of diseases and fish meat fish oil production in the future and other um, ocean, uh, ocean parameters that could affect our fish. And my last slide shows the how to make uh, move forward from this in terms of that perception about agriculture is for us to increase our knowledge about it and education, educate um, the general public about it. And also, these we make them to have um, constructive um, argument, especially when they have the, um, the right to talk to their local policy makers. And this might um, help industry to improve the sustainability in the future. Under climate change, uh, there are no single solution to climate change uh, on that with agriculture, but we can use uh, different systems. For example, we can, there are regions of the world where they practice ecosyst ecosystem approach to agriculture, which is really, really working well, and integrated systems are also as available in which you can have three different um, components of agriculture in a certain area, and this reduces um, the environmental impact. Thank you very much.